Okay, so we made this survey uh, this year uh, and our uh, primary aims uh, was to, to get lots of data about media consumption, uh, specifically media consumption related to uh, video game uh, use. Uh, we wanted to uh, examine and uh, uh, explore uh, the media habits of, of uh, young people uh, in Hungary uh, aged uh, between 8 and 18 uh, and uh, so we First, we had to secure uh, a support for it. it. It was very tough. Uh, actually, it costs a lot of money, uh, a lot of money, uh, to to be able to make such a survey, uh, and it comes very rarely in one's life, probably, uh, to be able to do something like this because uh, there is no real and uh, well uh, deep-pocketed uh, funding for video game studies in Hungary, as you can imagine. Uh, okay. Uh, so, and this this one costed uh, more than ten thousand euros. Uh, okay. So uh, we talked to uh, 20 elementary and high schools, uh, they uh, cooperated with us, uh, they, uh, so, uh, they uh, had the children uh, or, or the youth uh, coming to the schools and uh, coming to the uh, specific uh, rooms uh, with computers and they uh, had them fill out uh, an online questionnaire. Okay, uh, we had Lots of questions uh, on the questionnaires. On the questionnaire, it was like 27, uh, but some of the questions had uh, subcategories, uh, even 10 or 12 uh, questions, sub questions. I mean, uh, so this was uh, um, it. It was a long questionnaire. Uh, it, it usually uh, took uh, like uh, 30 to 40 minutes uh, to fill it out. Uh, our main questions uh, were like these. Uh, uh, first of all, what kinds of gaming platforms platforms uh, do young players use? Uh, that's about media uh, use. Uh, how long and when do they usually play? Uh, what kind of games do they play most often? Uh, uh, whether they use educational software, uh, I mean uh, software which helps them uh, to learn or refine some skills um, in a in a in a playful uh, way, uh, what drives and motivates them to play, what do they enjoy in playing games. So we shifted from uh, media consumption data uh, and habits uh, to more subjective uh, aspects of gaming, which isn't uh, really uh, customary for, for questionnaires. But as I said, uh, uh, it, it comes very rarely in one's life to, to be able to make a, 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 you know, a survey about a, a specific population uh, at a representative level, in a representative way, in Hungary. So we, we sort of uh, tried out some of our questions, which would be more suited, you know, in interviews. Uh, so what drives them and motivates them to play? Uh, how do they relate to to specific uh, social and socially relevant aspects of, of playing and games? Okay. Uh, uh, at the end, uh, we had almost 700 uh, data sheets uh, filled out uh, properly and fully. Uh, half half of them, uh, half of the uh, respondents uh, were females uh, and half of them were males, more or less, as you see. Uh, so it's uh, balanced. Okay, uh, as for the years, uh, it's not so much balanced. I, I would have liked a more balanced uh, age um, distribution. Uh, but anyway, uh, we mostly had uh, guys uh, between 9 and 18 who filled out okay, our questionnaire. Okay, so here's, uh, here are some of the data. Uh, we actually have so much data that uh, probably I can present like, I don't know, uh, not even half of it, third of it maybe, uh, or fourth of, of it. Uh, so we, which is the uh, primary platform for playing? Uh, you can see uh, that it's uh, uh, desktop uh, computers, okay, PC, Mac, uh, is uh, the primary platform, and then uh, mobile and tablet games uh, are very strong. Uh, in this uh, segment of the population. Uh, there are relatively few gaming consoles, game consoles, okay. Uh, they are, um, they cost um, much, uh, okay, in Hungary. So these are not uh, uh, cheap uh, hardware, and uh, especially they are, uh, if, you, if you use a console, you have to, to buy a relatively uh, uh, costly software for it, okay. And that's, I think, uh, one of the main reasons uh, it's not really uh, popular in Hungary. Okay, uh, and then you will have browser games, which is, of course, a uh, 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 slightly different category from the uh, previous ones, because you can use a browser game uh, on your desktop computer, for example. Uh, 
And uh, as you can see, uh, handheld uh, consoles are basically dead uh, in Hungary. Okay, so it's uh, two two point two percent. That's uh, practically nothing. Uh, so they are the uh, small-sized dinosaurs uh, of uh, uh, the gaming world. So we ask them. Uh, not only about their primary uh, choice, but also about uh, their general uh, choices of, of gaming platforms. And as you see, uh, yeah, it was it was uh, the computer uh, computer games, uh, which uh, uh, were very strong. Okay, and also uh, mobile games uh, were quite okay. So. Uh, uh, it's quite clear that mobile games are leading the pack. So uh, lots of people say that they use it very often, often, okay? Uh, and um, then, well, lots of other data, which is not so important right now, but uh, yeah, browser games are so-so, uh, not really impressive. Uh, so we have tablets and, and desktop computers, which uh, are used most often uh, for gaming. Uh, which game mode uh, do they prefer? I mean. Uh, this segment. Uh, you can see uh, usually uh, most, most of the uh, guys who uh, uh, filled out the questionnaire said uh, they prefer to play alone. Uh, this was a, a bit surprising, okay? Alone in single player mode. Uh, and uh, this was uh, more than uh, the third of, of the uh, population. Uh, then uh, it was uh, in actual company on the same computer or, or game console, uh, also uh, the fifth. Uh, of the population, and then uh, online multiplayer mode uh, was coming in third. Um, again, I was a bit surprised uh, to see this. I uh, don't know why it is so. Uh, we will have to think about it, so to speak. Uh, and the Wi-Fi and LAN gaming uh, isn't really that popular. Okay, uh, frequency of play. Um, okay, uh, how often uh, uh, do you play uh, these different modes? So, okay, uh, you have one pre uh, a preference for one specific uh, mode, but how often do you play uh, the others? Uh, that was uh, another question. Uh, and you can see single player mode uh, comes in uh, uh, first. Uh, it's very often that uh, they use it. Uh, again, um, in actual company in the same computer game console uh, is going strong uh, in, the, in the rarely category, okay? So I think uh, online multiplayer here makes, uh, uh, it looks better, so to speak. So it, it, it goes more strong here. Okay, uh, very often uh, we hear that uh, uh, digital games somehow ruin, okay? Children and youth uh, sort of, uh, uh, they come in and, and uh, nobody cares anymore about uh, playing soccer or, or playing outdoors. And we ask them about this. Uh, and it turns out that uh, uh, it's very uh, evenly balanced. Uh, I mean, the preferences are very evenly balanced. Uh, about one third of the, of the population uh, spends about the same time with digital, yeah, with digital games and uh, traditional games, uh, which include uh, indoor and outdoor uh, traditional games as well. Uh, then, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, one third goes for traditional games, one third goes for digital games uh, as a preference. Uh, okay, so it's very, very evenly distributed. You cannot say that uh, nobody plays outdoors uh, anymore. Uh, time spent in video games on weekdays. Um, well, I think it's, it's important to see how it changes on, on weekends, okay? Uh, so you can see that one or two hours is uh, is normal uh, for more than half of the uh, of this population. Okay, uh, three four hours uh, uh, is uh, for one one uh, tenth for them. But on weekends, uh, on weekends, for example, the one percent of all day long players goes up uh, quite considerably. And usually, you see that well, uh, lots of people. I mean, uh, among these guys, uh, goes on to play uh, in quite long sessions. Okay, so how long does a continuous game session last on weekdays? Again, you will see the difference between uh, weekdays and weekends. Okay, uh, they prefer to, to play uh, or they, they have uh, the opportunity to play for, for 10 or 20 minutes or something like that, uh, usually on weekdays. Uh, and then if you look 
at, uh, at the weekend data, you can see uh, that uh, more, more heavy gaming is coming in. Uh, more than two hours, more than two and a half hours. Uh, this uh, forms uh, almost 30% uh, of, of the uh, population plays quite a lot, more than two hours uh, in one gaming session, in one continuous session. So they sit down uh, or whatever and they play without uh, getting up. Okay. Uh, this was uh, another part of the survey. Uh, it was about uh, what kind of games they play. Uh, we made a, a, a we, we sweated uh, blood actually, uh, you know, with, with uh, defining uh, the proper categories. So uh, we asked them uh, to mention a game, uh, six, uh, at most uh, six games, okay, uh, and one or two uh, till six, and uh, uh, they, which they uh, have played uh, in the uh, months before, uh, and they asked them to define the genre or the type. Uh, and so it turned out that mostly they define games based either uh, on, on, the, uh, on, on its topic, on, on its theme, like uh, it's a horse game, it's a spider game, and, and things like that. If you see spiders in the game, then they say, uh, especially younger ones, oh, it's a spider game. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that it was quite common you know, for them to define uh, this way. So this is the folk taxonomy okay, of games. And, and then uh, uh, the other half of the population uh, used commercial categories like shooter, FPS, whatever you want, uh, but they uh, very often use them uh, not in a proper way. Okay, like uh, they said, it's strategy, but it was more like a traditional shooter or vice versa. So, uh, percents here aren't really revealing much. Uh, basically, everybody could list, uh, as I said, uh, not more than six games. So, uh, it was in total almost 3,000 uh, answers that we had to deal with. Um, but lots of people uh, could say, like, uh, uh, the, my first game, I, uh, which I remember is a shooter, my second game is also a shooter, and so on. So I think the actual numbers of, uh, of the mentions of the categories are more important. Like uh, platformer games are, are, are leading the pack, and then shooters, and then sport games, and virtual pet. Virtual pet games, it, they go crazy for virtual pets. Uh, we also asked them about educational game because uh, this whole research, this survey was part of a, a, a much larger project, so we had to, you know, uh, pay our debts uh, to the guts of uh, funding. Um, so we asked them uh, about educational game, and uh, yeah, uh, more than half of the population used an educational game. Educational. Uh, we, we didn't define it, we, we just asked them, uh, did you use something which was educational and, and uh, gameful, so to speak. Uh, and here are the skills they wanted to improve. Uh, foreign language skills uh, are the primary choice, then uh, uh, we have uh, mathematical skills, and then uh, the somewhat uh, murky category of uh, uh, knowledge about computers and IT, and so on. Okay. Then the last part, as I said, uh, of the survey uh, concerned uh, very much subjective uh, relations uh, to, to gaming and, and play. And uh, I really made a selection here. Okay, so we had, I don't know, 25 questions, uh, more or less, 25 image statements like uh, uh, these here, uh, which they could answer with yes or no. Uh, so these concern mostly uh, motivations, like I experience success in, in video games more often than in real life, which is, uh, of course, uh, might, might signal trouble. Uh, but uh, they are not, not really nerds, okay? Uh, uh, I mean, lots of them say no. Uh, uh, I, I'm successful in real life. I mean, in consequence, I can, I can think about that. Uh, in a video game, I can be somebody who I cannot be in real life. Almost half of them uh, experience something like that. That's, that's an interesting uh, thing. There happen more exciting and extraordinary things in VGs than in real life. Uh, I mean, that's a good sign, uh, so to speak, uh, that uh, about a third of them, only a third of them say so. Uh, okay, uh, and probably this is my uh, last sl uh, slide. Um, you can see that we had uh, statements like these, uh, like, uh, if you look at the fourth column, it is a good thing to play VGs that have blood and shooting in them. Uh, I mean, uh, of course, this is a, a, a rampantly uh, uh, 
exciting questions. Uh, we are not against blood or violence or whatever, uh, but we know that uh, there are some people who are against them. Uh, so we wanted to know how uh, children uh, and youth think about it. And uh, they say, uh, they, uh, third of them fully disagree, okay? They don't like blood and, and shooting. And, and only, you know, just uh, not more than, uh, it's less than fifth of the population is uh, is a lurking uh, psychopath, okay? Uh, so uh, they, they like blood and, and shooting, that's a good thing. And uh, uh, Probably they, they put in yes with a killer smile. Uh, I, anyway, we didn't see that. Uh, I, I'm just thinking and imagining things. Uh, okay, yeah, I think that's it. And thank you for your attention. <laughs>